Hi, this is Isha, and I'm going to tell you how to round and order decimals. So, we have two numbers here, and we're going to start with the first problem. So, 2908.1933, and rounding to the nearest tenth. Well, right here is the tenths place. And, anyways, what does round even mean? Well, round is when you put, when you average what this should be if it wasn't the exact amount. So, if that didn't make sense, we have two rounding rules. Five and above means you round up, and four and below, you round down. Well, when we say down, we really mean stay. Because if you round down, then you'll be underestimating and your calculation will be off. So, here's our tenths place. And when we round to the nearest tenth, we have to look at what's right before it, which is, in this case, a nine in the hundreds place. So, let's erase this so you can see clearly. And then now we have a nine, right? So, it's five and above, definitely. So, but instead of this just being 1.933, we can just estimate and say, well, 9 changing the 1 would make it about 2. And that is right, that 1.9, uh, 19.33 is close, making that a 2. So, we'll just say, okay, well, let's make things easier, and this 1 is turned into a 2. And these are forgotten about. So our final answer is 2908.2. So the next problem is 4412.1471. And we're rounding to the nearest hundred. This is our hundreds place. And when we look at it, we also need to look at the one next to it, even if it's in whole numbers. So if we remember our rounding rules from up here, we can see that this 1 is below 4, so we'll be rounding down or really staying. So this 1 makes this 4 just stay, well, pretty much a 4. But what happens to the rest? Otherwise, we didn't really do anything. Well, what happens is these are gone and they turn into zeros. This is because we're rounding to the nearest hundred, so now it's 4,400. And this gives us the answer of 4,400. Now, what about these decimals? Well, like we said, if you have a decimal on the end as well, you get rid of that too, because it's after the zeros. So, next we have our decimal ordering. So we have one, two, three, four, five decimals, and we have to place them in order from smallest to largest. Now, an easy trick to use is to say, okay, let's take 0 0.8, and our decimal point serves as our 1, and then we write a 0 for every unit after that. So this would be about 8 tenths, and that's how we would say this number, 8 tenths. So to compare them, we could just put them in different tenths calculations. But sometimes the problem is they're not all tenths, like 0 0.01. It is a 1 and 2 zeros, making it 100th. But there's no problem with that, because we can just fix our tenth. Um, if we add a 0 on the bottom to make it 100, we can also easily add a 0 to the top. It doesn't matter what you put on the right side of the main number because it's just saying, well, there's nothing there. So, um, let's start doing this. We have 80 hundredths, 1 hundredth, and let's keep going. 0 0.14 is 14 hundredths, 0 0.31 is 31 hundredths, and 0 0.52 is um, 52 hundredths. So, let's start putting these in order. 80 <clears throat> is the largest number out of the hundreds, so it would be number 1. 
52, second largest, 31, third largest, and 14, fourth largest, and last is <clears throat> one hundredth. So, thanks for watching, and now you've learned how to correctly round and order decimals.